I'm at the store and I'm looking at a coat and I'm looking at a sweater. They're both on sale. And what I want to know is which of those items would I be saving more dollars on? Can you relate to this situation? Now, I'd probably start with statement one because it doesn't talk about actual dollars. It's just giving me a percent discount. But the question was about actual dollars saved. So lacking the context of any dollar amounts, I couldn't possibly answer the question. Let's go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that statement one is sufficient on its own. So A and D are gone, and we're down to B, C, E. Let's evaluate statement two right after the intro. So statement two doesn't seem like it's going to be sufficient on its own either because it's just telling us about the difference in original prices before the discounts. So we know now that the sweater used to be more expensive than the coat by $10. It was $10 more expensive, but we're trying to figure out which of them are we saving more dollars on, and I don't even know anything about the discount. So statement two is not sufficient on its own either, and we're down to C versus E. Now here's what I'm thinking when I combine the statements. If the item that was more expensive in the first place also got the greater percent discount, then that's the item on which I would save more dollars because it's a greater percent and that percent is of a greater whole. So both of those indicate that, yes, that discount will be worth more dollars than the smaller percentage discount on the cheaper item. But look at what they did here. They are telling us that the bigger percent discount is on the cheaper item. So now the extra 2% discount coming from the cheaper item, I don't know if that's more than enough to compensate for the missing 2% discount of the more expensive item, or not enough, or exactly enough, and so I can't tell which item I'm saving more dollars on. If only they had applied the greater percent discount to the more expensive item, then we'd be able to say, yep, that's the item on which we'd save more dollars. But the way in which they combined the bigger percent discount with a cheaper item, there's just no way for us to know without any more information, without knowing exactly what the prices of the two items are. There's no way for us to answer the question, and therefore the correct answer is E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.